Oh, hell. Welcome to Bourbon Quest. It's your host, Bourbon Steve. It is day 26 here on National Bourbon Heritage Month. Whew. We can see the finish line now. All right, so it is day 26. Remember, stay hydrated, my friends. Um, yeah, so anyways, uh, let's just get right to it. Uh, National Bourbon Heritage Month. We're rocking the uh, Old Forester camouflage hat tonight. So, because what are we doing? Oh, hell. A little baby beauty. Old Forester, the 117 series. Warehouse K Barrels, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. So this is one of the uh, last, uh, I guess, things that Jackie... Uh, had her thumbprint on. Uh, I'm pretty sure Warehouse K was her favorite warehouse. Uh, I don't know. I can't. It's a small bottle and small writing. So um, let's see here. Each of our warehouses provides its own characteristic maturation environment, which allows us dimension and diversity in our blends. This small batch of barrels has been chosen exclusively from Heat Cycled Warehouse K in Shively, Kentucky, and represents barrels maturated on each floor, excluding K-6. Okay, um, so this is batch number 001, release date was August 2021. Um, it comes in at 110 proof. Uh, even got her name on it here. Uh, selected by Master Taster Jackie Zakan. Brown Foreman Distillers Company. Hell yeah. Um, that's pretty much all we got. So, anyways, you can go back and watch when we when I first picked this bottle up, which was jeez. No, I'm pretty sure it was this year. Anyway, so go back and look for that video. You can search it uh, here on Bourbon Quest. The Old Forester, the 117 series. This is the only one I've gotten from the 117 series. Uh, and it is Warehouse K. I didn't get Angel's Envy or whatever. But beautiful little bottle. So I don't even remember what we were going up there for. Anyways, uh, my good buddy George, uh, or Duke Dundee as he likes to be known on social media, we went up there and um, yeah, we, we, we stayed one night at the Galt and then we went and hit the old Forrester Distillery. Uh, we, were, we did, we did a, 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 a tasting there and then the 117 was available so I picked one up. Surprisingly, George picked up one too because he's usually a little tight on the money, but he threw down for it. Uh, but no, it, it was well. We got to taste it, um, yeah, during our during our blind tasting, and then we uh, picked one up. I only picked up one. You can you could have picked up two, but I just I just got the one. That, that's enough for me. But no, it's uh, for memory. It's fantastic it's great of course i'm a big not only old forster fan but a jackie fan um uh, although i have not had her new adventure with the uh what do they call it um uh, oh help me out bird request uh it's like called black and barn or something like that anyways it's something barn where they're black barns because they painted them black so it wouldn't show the black residue that from distilling whatever but um you know that's one reason i didn't i i love jackie and what and she did great things at old forester in her I think seven year tenure there and uh yeah, I was really saddened to see her leave there. I get it. 
I think, you know, being at a big brown foreman company like Old Forester, um, while I think she was given a decent amount of freedom, I, I think that she probably felt like her hands were tied a little bit, that she had to get approval by this person and that person and this committee or whatever. And so, yeah, she left Old Forester to go do her own thing and uh, I kind of question that whether they rush things to the market because I think she left on July the 1st and within a month they were putting out stuff with I guess her signature on it but the reviews I've seen have not been good but that nonetheless that's neither here nor now let's let's focus on this little beautiful bottle that fits perfectly in my hand the old Forster 117 series warehouse k hell yeah Boop. all right nice little pour i i'm kind of a i'm kind of a fan of these um 375 milliliter bottles um, for you know special releases this uh, I don't want all of them to be 375 but like a, a 117 series I'm cool with that um, obviously the uh, Jack Daniels Tennessee tasters I'm cool with that it, it just allows you to number one kind of experiment with some of their experiments and at the same time um, you don't have to go balls deep and to get one and I think this was if memory calls yeah, it was right around 50 bucks so if you think if you bought a regular you know 750 milliliter bottle it'd be a hundred bucks I'm kind of cool with um, releasing them in 375 milliliter bottles um, just so that more people can experience it and then I don't have a, I, don't, I also don't have a problem with them like when when I bought this one uh, they would allow you to buy two I, I felt like you know one's enough um, now granted if I thought it was mind-blowing and life-changing Maybe I would have wished I bought two or go back and buy another one. But but what I'm trying to say is I kind of like these special releases, limited editions in 375 so that hopefully more people can get their hands on it and experience it. Yeah. All right. Let's, that's enough about that. Let's go in and taste this. It's been several months since I've had this. Oh my god. I mean, beautiful nose. I mean, you get that ethanol on the front end, a little bit of spice, and then cherry, caramel, vanilla, orange. I get some more fruitiness. Not only cherry, but a little bit of blackberry. There's some orange in there too. I mean, I get some spice and ethanol, but then it, it comes off both uh, yeah, fruit forward. I mean, I get orange, cherry, and then that vanilla and caramel. Mm. The nose is great on this. I mean, it's. I'm going to go ahead and say it's complex on the nose. Mm. Very inviting, very seductive. <laughs> well, there you go. Stay hydrated, my friends. Alright, let's go into the palate. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. 
うんああ、oh. right off the rip I get うん、oh that's so good I get, I get right off the rip I got that viscosity good mouth feel I'm getting that hug I got all those flavors with cherry vanilla caramel oh more hug cream brulee that's freaking delicious and it's it's got a a long finish great hug good mouthfeel and viscosity I mean that's that's like a perfect bourbon I mean the proof on this is just right it's not it's not overpowering but it lets you know it's there it allows you to enjoy the the flavors and nuances the nose is spectacular mm. oh I got a little bit more black pepper in there now mm. man this is this is better than the last time I had it now that it's been open for several months got a little bit of air this is amazing mm. oh Forster tried and true I mean this is cheers mm. oh there's that cherry orange that spice and black pepper comes through hits right I mean on the proof point with a good hug viscosity mouthfeel that's spectacular I mean I knew I already liked it but I think I even like it more now mm, that is so damn good maybe I wish I'd have bought two instead of just one but you know but you know I, I really do like and number one it's a very cute bottle at a 375 milliliter um, yeah and I'm cool with that and I'm cool with you being able to buy two like I mean I only bought one hindsight being 2020 maybe I wish I'd have bought two but you know that, that that's fine I, I like the availability of it well I mean number one it is, it's still hard to get but it would even be harder to get if they were doing you know if they'd done this in 750 milliliters and I feel I have a feeling that probably with Old Forcer and their track record and Jackie specifically that probably three out of four people probably would have bought two but I, I'm I'm fine with just buying the one now hindsight 2020 maybe I wish I would have bought two but that's neither here nor there let's go back let me know what you think bourbon quest uh, if you've had any of well just your thoughts on old forester in general but specifically um on the 117 series um i oh, i know i think there's there i know of three releases on the 117 series there may be be more um i think the first one was uh, the angel share and then this warehouse K and then there was like um, 1910 more double oaked or extended oak. I don't know what the hell they called it so I think there's been three there may be more but let me know what your experience has been with any of the 117 series but I, I give high praises to this uh, warehouse king for sure so with that being said if you haven't done so what are you waiting on hit that subscribe button yo 
Uh, that helps out the channel as we ramp up those subscriptions on our way to a thousand. Um, and then, yeah, do yourself a favor and then you want to, by ringing that bell for notifications, that does yourself a favor. That way you don't miss a damn thing here on Bourbon Quest because we got, we got a major thing coming up. Well, it actually may come out before this goes up. Nonetheless, you want to ring that bell because we do some crazy shit on here and you don't want to miss some damn thing. Smash that like button. That helps the YouTube algorithm. So like I said, leave a comment on your experience, thoughts, whatever around Old Forster in general. And then more specifically the 117 series. Uh, well, this is the only one I've got of the 117 series is the uh, Warehouse K. But I know there was Angel Share and then the 1910 Extra Oat or whatever the fuck they called it. I don't know. But no. This is mm, amazing. Mm. Still going to miss Jackie at Old Forester. Oh, I do wish her well. I think eventually she will get things turned around and do things right. I think her first release, although, I, again, I haven't had it, but just based on the proximity of when she left Old Forester and when they released it and the other reviews of uh, other bourbon channels that I watch and, and respect, it hasn't gotten good reviews. If anything, it's gotten mediocre reviews. And I feel like a lot of those mediocre to above mediocre reviews were strictly based upon their love for Jackie, which I can relate to. Because if, if I did have it, I would want to say good things about it but at the end of the day most of the reviews I, I've seen have not said good things about it and hopefully that will change over the next 6, 12, 24 months because again Jackie's amazing um, as she I mean they released it a month after she joined so as she's able to get in there and give more of an influence and guidance on that I think things will improve but at the same time is it something that that I really care about or care to buy most likely not unless someone like Jason C at Mash and Drum or the Bourbon Junkies give it a uh, a, uh, an extraordinary review or something which no one has yet to my knowledge then that might sway me but you know with being a small distillery their distribution level number one like I said somebody like Jason C at Mash and Drum or the Bourbon Junkies or even Chad and, Sarah, Chad and Sarah at its bourbon night on a future release if they give it I mean if they just give it an okay review I still don't care about it if they give it a life changing review yeah then maybe I can I would consider it but that that kind of saddens me a little bit because I love Jackie I think she's amazing I guess I just wish I would have been able to continue to see what she could have done at Old Forster over the net. She spent, I think, seven years there. I would have liked to have seen, what, the next seven and then the next seven. So, what's that? 21 years? Man. I mean, Jackie's already an icon 
and in my opinion, a Hall of Famer. But if we could have gotten 14 more years out of her at Old Forster, that would have been phenomenal. Because at the end of the day, Old Forster is going to move on, truck on, kick ass. And, and I understand why she did what she did. I think to explore her boundaries, to have more of a thumbprint on what was being produced. And and we'll see we'll see what happens. But anyway, enough about that. Let's focus back in on the old Forster 117 because it's extraordinary. Mm. Oh wow on that 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 black pepper came through and then that hugs there and cherry vanilla uh, a little bit of blackberry too now uh, that's damn good let me know what you think again i think i said it earlier but just in case Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, smash that like button, leave a comment. Let me know what you think and stay hydrated, my friends. That's damn good. Alright. We probably should call it a night. That's a wrap. Love you, Bourbon Quest. And listen, as I sign off, as always, my wish for you is that all your bourbon quest dreams come true. Ha <laughs> ha! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That's 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 a religious experience right here. Peace out, bourbon quest. Mm. Damn, that's good.